you know, as I spoke to Henry at the station, uh, I also wanted another opinion and another voice on, on the book. And what greater a voice to, to have speak about Henry in his book other than Tom Ryan, former Limerick manager. Tom, it's a pleasure indeed to speak to you. Look, well, you're welcome, Jim. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's great that Henry wrote a book mm. and that he had the courage of his conviction to, for the put it in paper. It's a very honest book, Tom, isn't it? It's a very honest book. It tells a very honest story. Mm. And, it, and that, of course, like everything else, uh, there'll be a lot of things that the people won't want to see, like, mm. you know, which is, I won't want to read, which is, which is a pity, yeah. because really... I think the actual, the recent history, if you call, if you call 80 years of, practically nearly 70 or 80 years of, of Limerick Hurling, if you call that recent history, it shows the, the actual, back even to when the Mackies and then when Callum Punch was running the show, that there was serious division in Limerick, and it continued all, all down the ages. And it does, post- doesn't it? Even from Mackie, I mean, reading the book, yeah. I was stunned to see that when Mackie yeah. was there, there was 11 selectors. S- serious, <laughs> the serious division within the county. Yeah. And uh, we're caught in Limerick with that, you know, and the point about it is that in itself uh, would it would have held Limerick back from winning more titles in more all Ireland because we are a strong Holland County. We, we pride ourselves as being, as being a strong Holland County. We're really relatively and, and rapidly losing ground in that area. The powers that be are responsible for that, and, and I would include the powers that be Jim, in the clubs and the divisions and the, and the actual... It's easy to throw it at the county board, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but really, the clubs and the, the development of the game, you know, in Limerick has been held back by by old personal rivalries, bitternesses, old, you know, arguments going back the years and, and uh, petty jealousies as well. You know, I mean, there are serious, and it, it shows up in the book from start to finish. I mean, that it runs right through the book. And the book is honest because the book is, is the people that have talked in the book at all. Idea. Someone said it to me the other night, there isn't a lie in it. There isn't a lie in it, there yeah. is not. And, and he went to huge odds, like to uh, and he put in huge work into getting it, into getting those statements and those accounts and people at every level, down back from, I mean, from the 40s and to the see Tommy Cook the other night. Incredible. You know, incredible, and a huge turnout in the, um, like in the, in the Cook Hall, which, which meant, you see, that uh, again, that, uh, that, that there is an interest in it. And, you know, we've read, I've read books now, the Cody book and all them books mm-hmm. and Brent Cotton, they're only all old, old stories. This is, this, there's a bite in this. And, you see, the bite in it is people that want to know, people that have, are supporters of Limerick, people that think that uh, Limerick should be winning all islands. You know, you let them look at this book and think about it, because this book is something to digest. It isn't something to cast aside. I know that. If you think about it either, it wasn't, if you like, you can argue that Henry didn't really write the book, it was the people who actually oh, contributed to it. Oh, he yeah. didn't write it all. He, 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 he put it together. Yeah. Which he did a master. He did a master. You know, I mean, and the whole thing about the photographs, the presentation of the book, the professionalism, the indexing and all, is absolutely brilliant. I mean, he, he's a great, a great man like to do it. And he, and of course, he has the, he has the brazenness to do it, which is probably something that was badly needed. Like, you know, he's not afraid of, of, uh, of, he's not afraid of the, of the kickback, which, which came, he, which came when my man didn't turn up the line to book, you know, and the authority, like. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, even to make it, to, to, for, to I was, uh, there was a friend of mine asked uh, a man uh, who was going to acquire a job in the county board, did he read the book? He didn't, he said, and he wouldn't be reading it. Well, I mean, if you have a closed mind, like, I mean, you you're see, going her. you're going to get, that's, no. what, that's what's holding no. us back. We, we, we a solved, story we, there, Jim. We've right? solved greater problems in this country of ours by sitting down around the table and talking. Oh, we have, yeah. Than we have by fighting an yeah, argument. Fighting an argument. That's what happens here, yeah. like. And, of course, you see, the point about it is that, that, that unless we get uh, a management system in, in place and prepare to leave the past in that book, mm. but that book has to be the catalyst yeah. that we we'll move forward on. We've got to learn. Because it. there, the truth is there, yeah. and the and it is the truth is engendered in that book at every page, and it is, it is fascinating reading, absolutely from every conceivable issue that was that that has, there isn't there. has been mentioned mm-hmm. in it, and straightforward questions were asked, yeah. and they were replied to as well, yeah. and but the most important thing Jim that came through the book is you see I'm a great believer in the thinking of our peers mm. and of our people that run the association and run the jail limit. The thinking has come out there in you know it hits you in the face how yeah. they taught the way they 
you know, especially in the later years, we said, like, when the pressure came on and when we, when we started to make the progress, the thinking of them and the, the way they acted, and in particular with my own situation, you know, I mean, that's, that's very graphic, maybe, yeah. you know, I mean, it's flowery as well, language, but that's the language of the people, that's yeah. what we're talking every yeah. day. People understand is, I mean, people understand that, and, and, and there's one thing about it is, it is straight talk, and, and it is, there won't be any, anyone that, that, that turns uh, a deaf ear to that, mm. hasn't the interest. I'm no, it hasn't, because there's one, there's one of those wonderful issues in it that I, that I wasn't very familiar with. Um, by reading the book, it's presented from both sides of every argument that's there. There is no one-sided argument in it. Correct. It's presented from both sides. Well, everybody so got that opportunity, they did. see, of, of replying to... to uh, Do you think people who didn't contribute to the book will regret it in time, Tom? Well, they won't, no. They won't regret it at all because those people are always hit. Yeah. They wouldn't, you see, I mean, yeah, that's that is, you see, that's the kernel of the, of the mm-hmm. issue. You see, I mean, the point about it is they won't regret it at all because they'll they hope that this will die and go away. Yeah. And they will all die. They, 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 this won't be an issue. You see, this, this is what has happened, like. I mean, the, in the book, he went, to, he went and he presented uh, what you, reports that he had got. He reported, he went quite clearly to the, if they were, if they were directed against the county chairman or the county secretary, or any official, he went and he gave them the opportunity of replying, you know. Yeah. And in that as well, you know, a lot of old petty jealousies came out. It, it is time, I think, it is honest time that that we left all that in the past. You know, I mean, what happened just the normal thing writing about, no. you know. I mean, my period was the most successful period. Mm-hmm. There's no denying that, mm-hmm. and there's no contradicting it. And we've got, to, we've got to accept that. Don't mind what I might have done, if I was there. When, from 1993 to 1997, was the most successful period in, uh, since we won the All-Ireland. Yeah. Where we won two All-Irelands, mm-hmm. we won two months of Champions, rather, sorry. Uh, won, uh, played in two All-Irelands, got beaten, but we're lucky. You know? we, yes. never, we, we never analysed them, because yeah. we got the garden in one of them, yeah. and possibly... It, it, there was no extra one, yeah. and the after one was, you know, one of those things, one of those freaks of nature, but at the same time, it's explained well in the book yeah, what it happens. Is, yeah. It's a fascinating book. I would strict, I would recommend it to be read and read from cover to cover, and go back over it again because there are great, there are great answers to arguments in mm. it, like in, in particular, and it also like I suppose the most gripping item in it, like in, in later years, is is the the period of time that's covered. By the twenty questions to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, look at those twenty questions. Yeah, like. they're printed. They're in it. And they're in it. Mm-hmm. And the actual document is in it. And you know, the actual question she herself and in saying that Jim, again, that shows you the thinking. Yeah. And I, I and I'm a believer in moving moving the thinking forward. Mm-hmm. There are people still in the county board who 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 who. who Brought up those twenty questions. Yeah. We have a new secretary now. We have a new chairman. We have an, we, we have and instead of losing people like we are losing with whatever or D going, we we are we are we are again cut like we're not moving forward. The book is fascinating because it it, it gives players in particular a say, you know, that they've never got before. Do you think it was right, Tom, not to te- not to speak with the modern would say or, or, or panel that are still currently yeah, he was of course was, yeah. yeah he was because it, you, you would be compromising him yes you know you would like, no I think he was I think I think he did it right because he has players there that people have forgotten about him mm-hmm. he has yeah. players that have that did that, that pass for Limerick yeah. even to the small part yeah. but they played and they had an opinion yeah. and they weren't and they were they, they were they voiced it well yeah. and then you see like that is something I think will be the credit of the book as well and it it is a gripping story of Limerick, and if somebody has a better one to write about it, well, I I, I get to meet him anyway, yeah. and I think that it, that for a young for a young enthusiastic uh, you know writer, and his approach to the thing was was innovative.